Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Wigan Athletic. And they take on Charlton Athletic. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. Well, far from the ideal pass. How can they make something happen? It's opening up for them. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular. What do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's certainly going to be the key player today. Last time out, he scored those two goals, but it was his general play that was outstanding. Getting on the ball, making things happen, and he got his reward with the brace. And I'm expecting to see exactly the same again today. Over it comes. Can they stop it going in? Excellent block. And teammates to play it to. Perfect tackle. Stockley. They've given it away, clearing their lines, and so it will be a corner now. Over it comes, and they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Really good challenge. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Wyke. Untidy in possession. Jaden Stockley. Can they create something from here? Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, the clearance half hearted. And a timely intervention. White. And it might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Charlie White. It's with Jordan Cousins. It looks promising. Dobson Stockley and that pass could be troublesome and a goal! Now they've broken through 1-0 here <laughs> 
Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. 1-0 then. Tom Naylor. Lang. Wonderfully weighted pass. Cross blocked. Still not clear. Right over for now, it seems. Morgan. George Dobson. And we will have just one additional minute. Now with Morgan. Charlie Kirk. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Now the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. 
my name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Stuart. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Rivers. And the goal kick will be next. Owusu, Nunali. Che Nunali. Vreet. Could play it in. Very quick thinking there. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Mats Kulert. And they need to get tighter. And the cross is very much on. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Not to be in terms of the finish. That's Kulert. And players waiting in the center. Can they get in behind them? And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Che Nunali. Owusu. Well, sloppy in possession. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Offside, a tight one.
he takes it away. In position here to protect the ball. Promising sequence. Textbook defending inside the box. That is that for the first half here. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have action coming up from the first leg of the Conmebol Rey Copa. It's Santos, and they take on America de Cali. Well, what anticipation we have inside the ground today. Can the host take a lead going into the second leg? And can the visitors cope with the intense pressure they're going to be put under? I'm sure it'll be competitive and no doubt it will be dramatic. And it should be a great game, Derek. Playing with purpose and control. And whipped into the box. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? The opening goal of the game, then. Rodriguez, Cortez, now a decent position, can he take the chance, 
Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Torres. Rodriguez with it. And back with Ortiz. Now Sanchez. Cortez. And scope for them to produce something exciting. It should be. Teammate available. And lining it up. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Good looking pass. Cortez. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Opportunity to deliver the cross. An effective challenge. Good movement. And play halted, free kick given. straight into the meat of the penalty area taking care of business defensively here fine cross into the middle a routine save and now Sanchez And a timely intervention. Can they hit on the break? Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. In position here to protect the ball. And a fine tackle. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more...
sports. It's in the game. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the start of the league season just days away now, we have action from the curtain raiser for you to enjoy. We have every reason to believe this will be enthralling, Stuart. Well, Derek, this will be interesting. Two of the best teams in Europe come head-to-head -head here. I think we should be in for a real treat tonight. Let's hope it's a good game. Fluency of movement. Ate Nuhiu. Now a decent position. That's a useful cross. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Just the challenge that was required. Balotelli. Promising pass. Well, possibilities in the centre. Balotelli. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Nuhiu. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Well, visionary passing. Not to be this time. Stambouli. Younes Belhenda. And now passing it through. Can he keep his composure? Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Ate Nuhiu. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. looking pass now the attack fizzled out Lucas Castro Babagide Aquintola Balotelli and space for the cross tremendous challenge Balotelli 
High quality defending. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's been little between these two teams. It's been a really tight and cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little and that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Emmanuel Schreiner. Could play it in. Asom Balonga. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Strasbourg facing Saint Etienne. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Good strength to keep the ball. How about the cross? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome.
Wabi Kazemi. Mahdi Kamara. Promising attack, this. Just cutting off the supply. Gameiro. Thomason. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And the short option preferred. Putting them under the course. Off the post. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. What can they do from here? Gamero. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Perfect challenge. Hamuma. It's opening up for them. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Dimitri Leonard. Sizoko. And now Thomason. Belgard. Thomason. Leonard. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Kamara. And it's with Kazri. Now can they make something happen? Must take the lead here. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Gameiro. Leonard. Jean Wigner Bellegarde. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? But just like that, possession changes hands. Buanga. He has time to play it over. challenge Harold Mukudi Mahdi Kamara Timotei Kovacijak running with the ball confidently Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, here's the replay, and in many ways it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And it's a very tidy finish, because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. Time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris.
Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready for is the first leg of what should be a very intriguing Conmebol Libertadores semi-final. It's Aldo Civi and they face Union Santa Fe. Well, Derek, both of these sides come into this tie full of confidence, but who will edge it over the two legs? Today will give us a big indication. I'm really looking forward to this one. Promising sequence. But quick thinking defensively. And intercepts again. And possibilities here. A really top-notch piece of defending. Coricini. Insua. Andrada. Well, they keep passing away. Francisco Cerro might be able to set up the chance. And possession given away. And a throw in forthcoming. Emmanuel Iniguez. Cerro. Iniguez. Romero, Emiliano Insua, Federico Andrada. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Cordero. Strong but fair tackle. Lodico. Piton. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And teammates to play it to. It is to be a throw in. And slipped through beautifully. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. The opening goal of the game then. Gaston Romero. Cerro. Will it happen for them? Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Good pass. Andrada. Into the advanced position. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Cordero. 
Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is AIK and they take on Aarhus. Well Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. Olsen. Will it happen for them? And a goal kick is the outcome. Moving it forward, shielding the ball superbly. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Bahui might really be able to trouble them here. But quick thinking defensively. Mortensen Olsen still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead and possibilities here and with that the attack fizzles out
And possession given away. Couldn't keep it. Henok Goitom. Now a decent position. Committed challenge. Nikolai Paulsen. And giving the ball away. Bahui. Henok Goitom. Stefanelli now. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. He's driven in the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. A chance to whip it in. Really vital interception here. Nikolai Paulsen. Mortensen. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Patrick Olsen. And a fine cross. Now the cross was deep, a little too deep. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? But then the commentator's curse comes into play. And a tidy tackle. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Goitom. Bahui. And so it is, the first half story has been written.